Okay, welcome everybody. Vincent St. Louis here with IncomeFromMobileApps.com. Listen, what I want to walk you guys through right now is how to create your form, your, your AWeber form, so we can upload it into your new capture pages. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to go to your AWeber back office. If you don't have a, a list created already, then click right here and create a list. Create the give the name of the list, description, income from uh, apps.com website or whatever, and then your name and your email. Now, right in here it says uh, avoid using a, a, a free email. Don't worry about that. You, I do it all the time. Um, notif notification if you want to re receive notifications every time you, you, um, Every time somebody opts in, then put your name and your email in here. This is very important for the people that are not buying a Weber and they're letting me host their email list. Then, um, then you will you just to know that I will input your information in here and add you. So every time somebody opts into your form, you will get an email with the contact information of the person. You will not be able to access my list but you will be able to get the, the contact name and email of everybody that opts in. And then you'll also get the autoresponder. So then you save settings, make sure you save settings. Okay. If you have a list created already, okay, then you just click on the list. Okay. Go to web forms. Okay. Now there's two different forms that you're going to be able, you're going to have to create depending on which opt-in form. I mean, which website that you bought. Now, if you bought any of the ones with the videos on them, this is the one with the faster video, and then you have the one with the TED video, it's going to have a clear background. We will do that one first. The other one has got a grayish background. So let's go to the one that's got the clear background. What you're going to do is click right here after you click on web forms, and make sure you're in the right list. Right up here, you'll see the list name. Make sure that you're in that list. You can have multiple forms for multiple lists. If you want to have a different form for each list so you can find out, you can you can still if you go to sorry, just in case you're new, okay, you've got you can see I've got a lot of of um of opt-ins from this. But you can you can go to the the and I know that this person opted in from this form. I have multiple forms going to to this um to this list and so this one right here this person that opted in the other day it went to one of my other lists so let me see you you can have multiple forms so so you don't have to create a new list for each form unless you want to okay but if you don't want to then um, multiple forms for one list and that's what I've done with this the way I know who's opting in from which list okay so what you're gonna do you make sure you're at the right list create a web form Click on web forms. Okay, now the clear one, the one we're doing for this one right here, has got a clear background. It's going to be in popular, and it's right here, basic, and upload template. Okay, then once you upload the template, now the first thing I want to do is I want to delete this. I want to delete this Aweber thing. You put your cursor over it, and it'll go away, and I'm going to delete the header. Now, you can do whatever you want. Remember, this is your capture pages, so you can do it any way that you choose to. I like mine clear and simple. If you want to write something in here, then write something in there. You can you, you just, you get, put the header back on there and, and basically add the header back on there and write something in there. I don't, I don't want anything in there. Um, it's just more things for people to read. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go to the, the labels. Okay, that's these labels, and I'm going to bold them, and I'm going to change the font size. I like a little bit bigger font size. Okay, and then now what? I, if you want to add more fi for, or, or fields that people have to, to fill out, then click on this, put in the name, phone, or whatever you want, save, and it's added in there, okay? Now, I'm going to be honest with you. The more fields that you have people fill out, the less chance people are going to fill out. 
A lot of people don't want to give their phone. They don't know that they can just leave it blank. You can make it optional or whatever. You can say phone optional if you want. I just, for myself, I'm probably not going to call all these people anyways. Um, so I'm going to leave it blank. Next one we're going to do is go to the, the submit button. Make sure you're on the submit button right here. And I'm going to change this color because I want the color to be different. Uh, let's go to... Let's go kind of that color green right there and then click OK. And now I'm going to have a submit button. The other thing I want to do is the size of the submit button. I want to make it a little bit bigger. And you can change this throughout, even after your capture page is a month old, you can continue to change this. But <coughs> because of the JavaScript, it will change automatically on your website. So I will not have to go back there and resubmit anything. You can make any changes you want. Okay. Now I'm going to move that button because it looks kind of odd right there. I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to put it right there in the middle. Let me see here. I make it a little wider, put it right there in the middle. Okay. That's where I want it. Okay. Everything looks good. I'm going to change the color of that. I don't like that color green. I don't like that. I don't like any of those. You can go in here and it changes the. That one's a little better. And you can change it blue, whatever you want. Okay, then this is important, you guys. So now you've got that. This checkerboard background means it's clear, in case you don't understand. Okay, there we go. Now we save the form. Now you're going to go to step two after you save the form. This is really important for everybody. You want you can name the form if you want. It's important to do so if you've got multiple capture pages. So you may put it in there is um, fast video. So you know it's going to the fast video, you know, because that's the one that's right in here. Okay. If you're going to Joe, then maybe you'll say Joe video, um, no video or text um, form, whatever you want. But this is important to do. Custom field page is where you want this to go to, the thank you page. And basically you want your, wherever, when somebody clicks the submit button, where are they going to go? Well, they're going to go to your iLiving app page. Dot com forward slash your username. Okay, this is very important you guys do this, you guys. And then <coughs> what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy that and I'm going to put it right in here. This is, I'm going to delete that HTTP because I'm already got one in my clipboard. Okay, right there. If somebody's already subscribed, I still want them to go to my iLiving page. I don't need them to go to a welcome, thank you page or anything like that. Okay, done. Now it's saved. Okay, go to step three. This is what I need, you guys. I need this code right here of this form that you just created. You need to grab this whole code and make sure that you deliver it to me through email. So that way, this form that we just created will go there. Hello, everybody. Vincent St. Louis here. Now let's create the second form for you. Okay, the second form that we're going to create right now is for this capture page right here. Now this capture page right here has a little bit different. It's a light shaded background to the capture page. So let's create that one now. Basically what we're going to do, make sure you're at the right list. You're going to go to forms once again, create a form. Okay, now this one is right here, kind of modern. It's just a basic form. Okay, we're going to load the template. And once again, I'm going to delete. Delete the AWeber email thing. I don't need to be advertising for them. If you want to add words in here, I would recommend you not because it's just going to add length to the capture page, um, basically. But you can. If you want to add words in here, you can. You can change the, um, the header color and everything. You can change it to a lighter color, darker color, um, whatever you want to do. You can change that by clicking the background right here and moving your cursor over and clicking a button or, or change in here, you know, so you're doing a blue, green, whatever colors, okay, that you want. 
<clears throat> myself, I've got it like this and I don't have a header on there. So I deleted the header. Okay, then we're gonna go right here to labels. And that's, these are the labels. If you want to once again, add another form like the other, um, the other page, then you add the, you know, you, you add a form right here. Um, there we go, phone or whatever you want. I don't do that. I don't, um, I don't like another form. I want it to be as simple as possible for people. What I do want to do with the labels though, is I want to bold this and I'm going to change the font size a little bit. I like it a little bit bigger, bolder. Okay. The, the, now we're going to do the submit button. If you want to change the color of submit button and do the same thing, you click on anywhere you want, move it up and down, whatever you want and it'll change the color of the submit button. Let me see what I have in there. I've got a light blue submit button. So let's just click on that. You can do, like I said, you can do it however you want. Um, okay, it did not change. Let's go back to it. I don't know why it did not. Yeah, let's go. You gotta click on it right there. Okay, so now that changed a little bit. You can move the submit button wherever you want it. I'm going to put it in the middle. Close that. Okay, now the web form is saved. Save web form. Okay, and then you're going to go to step two. Name your web form. You know, if this is for text only uh, page or whatever you want to do in there so you know. So you've got multiple forms, multiple opt-ins going for that one list. Okay, then of course you're going to change to custom page, your iLiving.com forward slash your username. Okay, and then you come down here. I, I like to just copy it. And I'm going to go right here, custom page, click on there, get rid of that HTTP, save form. Now, step three, remember, like the other form, this is the code I need. Copy and paste this into an email and make sure if you're sending me multiple forms, if you bought more than one capture page, you let me know what form this is. Vincent, this is for the text only capture page. Paste it in there. Vincent, this is for the faster video capture page. Vincent, this is for the Joe video capture page. Let me know what it's for so I make sure I input this, this link in the right one. Now, if you happen to not like the way it looks, maybe you don't like the color of the, the box or, or whatever, or the size of it, you can always go back into your form, go back to design. Because it's a JavaScript, you can change this any way you want and it will automatically change on your capture page. If you make a change, you go to your capture page and it's not changed, then what I would recommend you doing is one is wait an hour for your cookies or cash. You can clear your cookies or cash or you take the page, you copy, you open up Firefox or Chrome or somewhere that you're not, you paste it in there and see if the changes are because it, it sometimes it happens instantaneous. Sometimes your cookies on your computer will hold this image and it won't change. Or otherwise, you just hit refresh, the refresh button, and see if the change and see if you like it. Once again, you can go in there and change the color. You can change anything you want. After you give me the code, a week, month, a year down the road, you can change it all you want. Um, you just need to, you know, make the changes and then make sure you save form and then it'll save it on your website. Real quick, something else I forgot to tell you about your list. Go to list settings on your list. Okay, remember, you, you just grab this code, copy it, um, and then paste it into an email. Give me that whole code from these two things, the script, everything. Okay, go to list settings. Confirm opt-in click off. You do not need people to confirm their opt-in. Make sure you click off on your list. Okay. Once again, that's you go to your list name. You hold your cursor over here, the drop down button, list settings, come over here, click on opt-ins, click off. It's going to say, are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Okay. Whoops. I want it off. Okay. Then you have to save the settings. OK, 
Okay, I don't care. People don't need to. I don't need them to opt in. It just gives them one more reason not to to click on stuff. Um, okay, so that's it. This is Vincent St. Louis with IncomeFromMobileApps.com. Next is we will show you how to upload the autoresponder so you don't have to create your own emails. I will create a whole bunch of emails for you that you can upload right into your list settings. And um, that way you don't have to mess with. Of course, you can always create your own if you want to. So my name is Vincent St. Louis, and we'll see you on the next video.